I don't know if the pings go through for other observers. Top lane, Shaman is going to put his low here with the Fairy Fire. They're going to get the Shackles as well. Eventual Spirit is going to get first blood. He's got his own Fairy Fire as well and play hard. Can he get away? Gabby, Stifling Dagger will be up pretty soon, but he's going to get the Cell of Out. Wave of Terror is about to come off cooldown as well. And Vengeful Spirit picks it up. So it looks like TNC once again. I mean, Gabby's not going to get first blood, but at least TNC three games in a row now. They will be able to get first blood. A good way to start to at all times in this top lane as well. Love to see that if you are a team to uh, you know, trade damage and potentially get that kill with the rotation. Because that's how they're thinking it. But meanwhile, up top, Magic Missile will be able to stop the shackles coming through. Gabby's going to be fine. JL recognizes it. I mean, the mag hasn't been bought in a long time. It's going to try and go for the skill here. They will connect on it. Now, Mark, has he got a point in the grave? It doesn't look like he does. And that he will go down. Nothing JL can do. At least the kill gets, uh, I believe, claimed from the tower. All the creeps. So we'll saw uh, a lot back when, uh, sorry, when he was being picked. Ash mid lane. JL with the TP rotation. Now Tim's the damage over time. It's going to get brought down here. Armel is going to be careful. With the uh, Shadow Poison. So the Poison Touch. He will go for the Ash And now JL can he get in range. He's low on mana, however. Armel. He might actually tick out to this. He's got a fairy fire. Will be fine though. The self straight back up. Like I was uh, so he will live another day here. There you go. I mean, another. If you want another example of denies, look at the difference here. Cuckoo five, Scatalicious six and a quarter, fourteen denies. Having a really good time, Tim's. Will it take out to this? It's got the Arctic Burn and the damage from Dazzle. Tim's will end up falling. All of a sudden, two for two and a lot of aggression in the mid lane here. Armel's going to be careful as well. They are still in the area. But this does leave these side lanes free. I mean, look at Gabby. Didn't even need to use the active here. He's going to be fine. And now all of a sudden, I mean, is uh, almost overtaken that life seal. Do they have any more stacks as well? There's another hard camp stack in there. You go. So there's the blur. It's something similar similar to the Terror Blade with how efficiently they can farm in the jungle. But they recognize this. I mean, they don't see PA in the lane. Rappy trying to dive for this Venge here. Tim's with the skewer. Might try and find this uh, Winter Wyvern. Chuck him underneath the tower. Key armel. It's going to rotate through. They will get the shackles out. The pushback. Phantom Sass is going to join the fight as well. They drop the hammer. A lot of magic damage will be dealt. And now it looks like they will get two heroes here. Play hard. Eventually going to fall when that dagger comes off cooldown here. Gabby's going to claim it. Down he goes. A double kill for the Phantom Assassin. And that's a Vori here. Pretty, uh, pretty obvious sentry placement as well. As soon as you see a, uh, a hero rotating on the back line. It's sometimes a clear, clear cut uh, understanding. Uh oh, play hard. Hasn't got a point in the hex. Magic missile. Doesn't want to go for the shackles. Oh, never mind. Jeez, the crit. Just with the minus armor, they bring him down and up. They're probably going to try and pressure out this T1 tower top. Tim's being able to pull out that crit. It does have to be careful though. Armel's ready. The, uh, the more the hammer is going to get brought Sorry, the harder the hammer is going to get brought down. But they're going to smoke up here. Gabby will front line. Crit on the first here, but the Con Embrace. Sucking the trees though, but they do have vision. Remember Cuckoo with the Hawk. They're going to be able to blow up this Winter Wyvern here. Can they catch anyone else over? TPs, they will get. Is the swap going to be there in time? No, just that level one swap. So the 700 range, really low cost range for the Ventual Spirit. So they'll be fine. They, they get the Winter Wyvern kill. The 2k net worth lead. They uh, scouted this out once again with the Hawk on the Shrine. I've, I've been speaking about how key Vision is around the Shrine area, but Radiant, they got a very good ward here. Will they pop the smoke in time, though? They're going to run forward. The crit is there, but they're going to get the Winter's Curse out. Tim's will be able to take that kill. So down goes the Winter Wyvern. Now they might be able to find play hard. They have a good Observe Ward on the high gun. Skewer is only level one. It's going to connect. They will get the movement speed still as well. Rap is going to go for the TPR. The swap's going to be there, and the roll as well. TP rotations. Phantom Assassin's going to come through. One more right click. He'll be able to claim that kill. Bounty and Rappy gets it. He's going to just run up to the north. Allow the rest of the team to try and disengage here. They are already out. Looks like Rappy really nothing he can do here. They'll get the slow to crit for good measure. They dropped the hammer. Uh, okay. A lot of emphasis. He doesn't even get the kill on Armel. The tips come through. Hard for Neon to actually play around this for the next few minutes until they get vision. And they will smoke up. I don't know if they saw the particles. Depends if they were watching the Observe Ward, though. They will see Life Storm in. They're probably going to blow the RP for this. He does get the Rage off, I believe, but it doesn't matter. The crits are going to be there. 
And that was just off the Sacred Relic pickup as well. So very close to his own Radiance. Probably going to take the T1 tower. They'll go back for Roshan, even with RP down. He's going for a Midas. Ah, do they even win this game late though? That's the question. They're going to get the roll. They need to blow him up before Let's Blitz comes through. They're going to get the Magic Missile. The Hex is certainly wants to drop this wall. Gabby, they're going to get the Skewer. It's up to two. They drop the Hammer. A lot of damage. They're all low on mana as well, but there will be the Split. And now Mag's going to be careful here. They blow up the Shaman. The four star forward. JL will end up one charges. There is a buyback on the Shaman available. They will get the Hurling Boltus. It was already in mid-animation. Apologies. It looks like they are out. I mean, like, never mind. Mark, speaking about being out, he's gone. They're just going to push out once again. I mean, they see the Black Dragon, though. They're about to. They'll walk up the High Gun. A good observed ward. Cuckoo with the Blink 4. They're going to try and find the Winter Wyvern first. BKB is going to get popped from Armour. He drops the Hammer. Play hard on the back line. They will have the Mech. And now Gabby's going to crit. Tries to find Cuckoo in this boost. But can they get him in time, though? That's the last one. It's a double kill for Armour. The skew is there as well. Mark can't escape. It's 4 dead on Neon. Roshan's up as well. And looks like the live store just wasn't even at that fight. Cuckoo. TNC recognize that they need to find these saving supports. They go straight for the Winter Wyvern. And just the threat of the... Oh, instead, Scatalicious. Can they get in range for the swap to pull him back? They're going to get the moon speed from the drums. The bash first hit doesn't even matter. He's just going to crit him down. Gabby is able to find that kill. Dead for 60. They will definitely force a buyback here. Net worth is skyrocketing 21k. Radiance Things are looking grim. It's about a 3k net worth swing as well. Are under we'll have some buybacks. Life still is going to be forced to use it, however. And they get the melee racks and out they go. Roshan, ready and waiting for them. Now Abyssal Blade finish for Gabby. If Life still dies, this is just game. And they're just going to double back here. Do they have any Hawk Vision? What's the cooldown looking like? It's going to blink forward. The bash is there. Down goes the Winter Wyvern. Thank you very much for that minus armor. And now Cuckoo with the blink. We'll get hexed up. The roll was on cooldown when he started that fight. Instead, they're going to turn their attention. They melt through the building thanks to the inner beast. And also with how many items they have. <laughs> Mark tries to go for the deny, but it won't be there. 23k gold lead. And the win probability might just be 100% after this Roshan. Look at the minus armor. Solar Crest, Wave of Turret, Desolator. He's got no armor. Oh my... Roche was there. I mean, he was there. He's not anymore. And now that's... I, I don't know. We're about to hit 3 three two two mark. Chat. They need two more kills on TNC. And a 26k net worth lead. Maybe... Well, there might be another kill. Grave will keep the Shaman alive. Hex is there, PA with the force, he'll be fine, they drop the server ward, and I gather they're gonna flick up the back line, the two main RP, they don't have the ultimate from the I want to but look at the cleave going through, the Winter's Curse does nothing, and now the Cone Embrace, Winter Wyvern, it'll only keep him alive for a momentary time, GG gets caught in TNC, first two games, they had to work for it, but game three, 30 minutes in, they were able to take out Neon Esports, so they will take this series 2-1, to one. Very, very... From the side of TNT.